Hello and welcome back to Cryptarch. Last time we managed to infiltrate yet another Hulk and we actually succeeded, which was amazing, I have to admit. This time we are going to infiltrate yet another Hulk and I believe this one was the one that we wanted to get. Yep, that was it. So, um, we're gonna go against this one. I know it remains the lowest common denominator of Hulks, but you know what? I, I'd like it if we at least made it to the final sector in our first try. That'd be great. I would love that. That'd be amazing. So for this one, we've got a goal time of 1248. Not too hard. We never go over the goal time. We die far before the goal time ever occurs. Our bonus is to not triple arms. I think we can manage that, maybe. Destroy armorings. We can do that. And keep the shuffle systems. That's gonna be a little bit annoying, but I think we can deal with it regardless. So let's get right in there. See what we can do. Okay. I don't know what sort of loadout we'll go with. I think we'll stick with the same general loadout. I mean, we haven't changed it all that much. Maybe we should mix up the uh, primary weapon a little bit. I don't know. Do we have another good primary weapon? I. It's hard to say. It's hard to say. Well, let's at least start by looking at this Hulk. What do we got? Okay, so we've got a small secondary area here. Interesting. Oh, very interesting. So this Hulk is divided into like four separate sections. Okay. Well, it looks like the um, initial position we're going to be going to is here. Now, the Hulk does have a shuffle system, so it's going to be shuffling around the position of the major um, systems every 60 seconds, I think. Let's check what level these shu shuffle systems, yep, 60 seconds. So we'll need to head in, clear out a as much of the area as possible, and take down the repair system before it shuffles. That should be easy enough. Then we will want to target probably the alarm system second because I really don't want to trip any alarms. Where are any of these alarm lasers? We've got one here. Um, any trip lasers in this area? Yes, there's a couple um, near to this shield section. Looks like there's a bunch of um, just general enemies in the area. We can deal with that. There are no enemy manufactories, so that's a good thing. So we can basically go for that repair station and then we'll have to probably formulate our plan from there because there's a good chance that m the systems will have shuffled somewhat. Probably we'll be heading into this area because we do need to take down the armorings and all of that. So we'll go for the repair station then the alarms, then we'll go for the armorings, take down the shield to the core system, because I believe there's also, there's two shield systems in here. I don't even know if this is hooked up to anything. Shielding sentry level two. Oh, it's, um, it's shielding this sentry. That's not the end of the world. But we'll take out the shield for the core last, and then, you know, take out the core. That'll work fine. So what do we have in terms of loadout? Let's see. We don't have any particular limits to our loadout this time. We have a burst, we have a hush puppy, zip gun. I don't like the zip gun. I don't like the idea of it. Um, we got the ram spike, frag grenades, high explosive grenades. Cooked. Um, these ones don't seem like they're probably as powerful. We have a nuke grenade which is probably incredibly dangerous. Remote grenades and sticky grenades. Um, nuke grenades sound amazing on the one hand, but also very, very dangerous. I'm going to level with you. High explosive is loaded with military standard high explosive rounds. These grenades detonate after 1.5 seconds and can be cooked for more precise timing. Let's check these out. Because we do want... Oop, no, we want that to replace our... Oh, we're using HE grenades, as is. Oh, that's... That's lame. I thought we weren't using HE grenades. Frag grenades is, are densely packed with lethal shrapnel. I feel like high explosive is a better move. 
but we could use some sort of guided rockets. After launching, this rocket can be wirelessly guided into targets due to the advanced complexity and cost. Careful application is recommended. Slime mortar. Mm, I don't know about that. But in the very least, instead of using oh, the storm, we could potentially use the Vulcan laser. I think that's going to be a better move. I didn't quite like the storm all that much. It wasn't terrible, but it wasn't great. So with this, we should be able to head in. Um, we have a key, because we're going to need a key to get into the repair area. But outside of that, let's just do a little check on this Vulcan laser. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. Ooh, that has a pretty darn high fire rate. Does it recharge? I'm not certain it recharges. Oh, it does recharge. It just recharges fairly slowly. That is fine. Okay, so with that loadout, we're going to head out into this area, take down the repair systems, go from there. Should be fine. Let's do this, people. Here we go. Okay, repair systems first and foremost. I hate repair systems so much, vehemently. I am the greatest proponent against repair systems that one has ever seen. Hello, saw blades. This is gonna be... This is gonna be hell. Um, it's gonna be terrible when we go in here. Just cross yourselves. Cross yourselves! Take him down! Take him down! How did we not get hit even once from that? Ow, we got hit from that one. That's for sure. Okay. Ow, ow, ow. We are going everywhere right now. Deploy grenades! Deploy grenades! Take them all down. Leave none alive! Oh, our leave none alive situation is not working out terribly well. Wow, these guys are actually wrecking our face right now. This is terrible. I mean, I didn't necessarily take into account all of the turrets, but the turrets aren't really the ones that are doing the damage. It's really these guys. Jeez, I mean, at least it seems as though we've done a good job of clearing out the area. Let's go for the... Um, actual repair system it's getting a bit sketchy I'll admit we're getting probably pretty close to the wire on this nice nice repair systems down that's good okay let's get this tech and let's check where do we need to go to next we need to take down the alarm system so we're gonna want to hit right there we could actually take down we have 30 seconds so we need to be careful about the amount of time we spend going which way and not. So I think we're going to try to take down this... How do we even get to this system? I'm not 100% certain how to damage this system. Ow! How to damage that system. So we're going to have to move on out. I was going to take down the um, shield system before we actually engaged anything else. But it doesn't seem like that's going to be a thing. So where are we now? Oh, the alarm system's back over here. That's perfect. Man, the alarm system having no defenses around it because we basically destroyed everything in here. And when I say basically, I mean literally destroyed everything in here. We just have to make sure that we don't trip the actual alarm system. That happens to be an objective of ours. Ow! Okay. So we failed to not trip the alarm system. I will admit, small issue there. Um... We're kind of the worst at not tripping alarm systems. What the heck? Why is the core firing so much stuff at us? Calm down, core. We're not here to kill you. We're here to kill the alarm system. I mean, there's barely any reason to take down the alarm system anymore. Oh, looks like they seem to have found their way into this particular hull. I didn't think that they could get in here. I thought we were safe. I thought we were safe. No such thing. We get nothing, we lose! Oh, did it just send our grenade back at us? That is terrible. I do not appreciate that. So things are probably going to go rather downhill. I'm um, just, just a fair warning on that one. Um, every time we've set off the alarms in the past, things have gone quite poorly for us. Looks like we had a reshuffle, which is also unfortunate. But in the very least, we should be probably taking down a good number of the actual drones on the ship since it seems like we attracted basically every single drone into the situation. Hey, hey, get out of here. 
you guys, you guys are the worst. You, like, minnow tadpole creatures of death. Disgusting. Okay. So we should be able to take down this shield generator. I want to say fairly easily, but probably not. Because it's taking its darn sweet time in dying at this point. Oh, now it's that. What do we have over here? Oh, that's a turret system. That is a turret system. Okay, let's pick up this tech and look at where we need to go. Because we need to... Uh, keep the shuffle system. We need to take down both armorings. So we're going to have to head out of the station at this point. And up... Where do we want to go? Where do we want to go? Because I'm not certain. I think we might be able to trip alarms even more after... Even after we've tripped the alarm once. It's hard to tell. But we can head over there, try to take down the... Um, actual what is it the shield system for the actual core because it seems like the shield system is going to be pretty weak at this point after all the damage we did to it previously oh my word oh my word nope things are going downhill immediately ah we can't move anywhere we're stuck deploy the cannons leave none alive I mean, it's not as though we were ever planning to leave anything alive. I was very much against the concept of ever leaving anything alive. Get out of here. Everything. Looks like we got a burst heavy machine gun, which could actually be a pretty good addition. Oh, and we got a system reshuffle. We came in here and took all that damage for nothing. Oh, that's unfortunate. That's not even the shield system we want, I don't think. I'll we'll have to check to be sure, but I'm pretty sure that's not the one we're looking to actually pick up. Oh, okay, let's check. That one is not connected to the actual core. Things are not going well for us right now, are they? This is just very poor execution overall. This was supposed to be easy. This is supposed to be simple. Ah. Oh. Man, that switch system, ow, definitely is a bit of a problem. Holy crap. Would you calm down, brain? I'm not even coming for you right now. Jeez. Oh, it's freaking out right now. Okay, so we have a total of 12 seconds before the next shuffle. So it's not really worth trying to head anywhere because... We basically don't... Uh, because we basically won't get anything. So if we can possibly pick up this repair supply pod... Yes, please repair my hull, thank you. The system is protected by a I know it's protected by a defense system! Calm your face! Jeez! It's fine, what do we got? Is that the core's shields? No, it's not. Should we just kill the shuffle system? I kind of want to kill the shuffle system, but at the same time, I mean, we're only working on two bonus objectives at this point. I feel like two bonus objectives is really not very much. That's locked. Um, what can we target? We could possibly enter through there and engage. Yeah, I guess we'll be entering through here, try to engage a door lock system or something. Because we are running out of time to engage the next system. Here we go. Oh man, what is he doing out here? Get out of here, Heavy Sentinel. I checked his name when we were in there. It's totally a Heavy Sentinel. Come on, let's go. In we go. Hello. Welcome to your death, my friends. It's probably my death when we actually think about it. But, I mean, I'd prefer to be... Uh, thanks, Engineer. Shut, shut your mouth. Shut your... Just, if you can't give me ammo immediately, I don't want to hear it at all. It's just not useful. Thank you very much. Okay. Let's deploy a bit of laser cannon action. Actually, that Vulcan is pretty darn good once it gets up to actual speed there. That is quite nice. It's kind of hard to actually control the drone and fire it at the same time. But, you know, it's, it's still nice. Hey, 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 buzz off, buzz off. 
Jeez. What? What is the situation right now? We just shuffled. I have no clue what's going on. We're constantly being attacked by minnows. How do we take this thing down? Looks like we have to hit it while it's open. Would you guys get out of my face? Jeez. I need like two seconds. Two seconds to think about the situation. Ah. Yeah, this is getting, as one can tell, quite stressful. Things are not going exactly how we planned. I don't know if you can tell or not. Ow, what the heck? Why are you guys all coming up here to begin with? Get out of here. Oh, jeez, okay. Let's see if we can't find a health crate out somewhere. Okay, there's a health crate over here. We're gonna have to go pick that up because we've taken an exorbitant quantity of damage. For some reason, I feel like this is not going to go well for us overall. We have currently five minutes to actually complete the mission. Man, that shuffle system actually makes things quite difficult. Okay, let's pick up a repair supply and then check out the situation. We do have an armoring system right here, so we could potentially take this thing down. Hello, armoring system. Can we just shoot you straight up? Oh, we totally can. You are so done for. Thank you very much. Can we possibly pick up some ammo here? Yes, we can. Very nice. I mean, we've spent a lot of money on this at this point, but I think it's worth it? Question mark? Hard to tell, hard to tell. Um, so we have, until the next shuffle, 26 seconds, which is not very long. I don't know if you are aware of that, but 26 seconds is not the longest quantity of time in the world. Uh, where's the other armoring? It's up there right now. I mean, we could re-enter this large hulk and start trying to uh, fight our way down the system. Because we're probably going to need to do that at some point anyway. It would be useful to have as many of the hulks clear as possible. Get wrecked, mate! You're done. You're done. Okay, what do we got? We have the core right here. We're going to get a key terminal. We need to... I guess we can fight... Yeah, we can't fight through this way. Because there's just way too much that that brain is actually dealing out at this point. So we're going to head out and around enter through this southern pass and hopefully maybe get something out of that because we can now use an actual key to get in here. Oh, there's a lot of stuff waiting for us. I hate my life. I hate it. I hate it. Why? Why? Why is this what we have to do? What happened in the course of our lives that we chose this particular profession? Which is clearly not a profession conducive to good health and long lives. It is clearly one which is conducive to very short lives, actually. Very, very short lives. Sad and short lives. Ah, hence we just exploded. Well, that didn't go well. I mean, we got a lot of tech, but... Oh, we cannot leave those shuffle systems intact, no matter what the bonus objectives say we're supposed to do. Jeez. I'm not even certain we can continue. I think we just lost. We have a bank of 44k. Oh, that's not going to be easy to deal with. Well, that'll bring us for now to the end of this episode. That went absolutely terribly. But, oh, look, it's got a loadout max of 60k on it. I mean, we don't even have 60k, so I feel like that's going to be perfect for us. So we'll try to succeed at another Hulk next time. I think this one might be the one we want to go for. Because the other ones look quite dangerous and we will have very little equipment at our disposal, really. Ah, uh, that one might not... Mm, no, no, it's totally going to be this one. We'll just have to take out the repair system and then the shuffle system quite quickly. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, like and subscribe. Next time, we will take on... The final Hulk that we'll probably be able to engage in this campaign, and we'll see whether or not we can redeem ourselves. Probably not. I, I highly doubt it. The chances are very slim that there's any redemption from what has occurred during this episode. Um, so thanks for watching, and of course, 
Enjoy the rest of your day.